Every golfer can benefit from training with Goff's MVP because you can feel the correct positions and motion. Also, the feedback clip tells you immediately when you've made a mistake. Let's take a look. In the backswing, the MVP helps you create a wider, more powerful arc by preventing overbending of your right arm, which will prevent left arm breakdown. The gear mechanism locks these two angles in place, the angle in your wrist and the angle in your elbow, getting you in perfect position to store all your power and release it in the downswing at the correct moment. With the gear mechanism locked at the top, and after you've achieved these two perfect angles, you'll feel that tension as the cable locks. That's going to encourage you to start your downswing with your big muscles in your lower body, which will prevent you from releasing your angles early. Goff's MVP will provide some resistance here with the cable so that when you come down, you'll come down on plane and right in the slot storing your power. If you try to come over the top or release early, the clip will pop right off the club. This enables you to store your power to the very last second, release those angles right into the golf ball, getting maximum velocity. You'll notice when you unwrap your MVP that the cable will not pull out of the gearbox. It will not do so unless it is properly fitted onto your trailing arm. So let's talk about how to fit it. Fitting the MVP onto your arm is imperative to proper function of the MVP. What we're going to do is slide our arm into the MVP so that your elbow sticks right out of the opening right here. Then we're going to tighten the top strap of the double strap system, get it as snug as you can. We're going to then pull the bottom strap around and tighten that. Again, double check to make sure that when you bend your arm, your elbow is coming out of the hole here. Now you're ready to attach the clip. Just a few things to remember to ensure that your unit fits you properly. Double check to make sure that your elbow is showing through the opening. Also, make certain that the upper strap is secured snugly on your arm. And if ever you cannot get the cable to release out of the box, just remember all you have to do is straighten your right arm and it'll release very easily. The purpose of the clip is to give you release point feedback immediately. Let's talk about how to properly attach it. Just rest your club against your leg. With your left arm, reach across, make sure your right arm is straight, pull the clip out, place it between your index finger and thumb of your right hand, pick your club up with your left arm, clip it to the bottom of the club near the heel, and then just slide it right up the shaft. You should be ready to go. The purpose of the feedback clip is to come off the club. You actually want it to come off so that it'll show you where you're making a power leak or an error in your golf swing. There are three common places in the golf swing where players lose power. The first one being at the top of the golf swing when they release early. If you do that, you're going to see the clip pop off around shoulder height. The second area where a player tends to lose power is when they come over the top and then you're going to see the clip pop off somewhere around chest height. And the third area of power leakage is more near the impact area at the bottom of the swing when a player just releases early or flips at the bottom of the swing. If you do that, the clip will come off somewhere around hip height. So there's three areas of your swing that you can check by figuring out when that feedback clip actually pops off. You'll be able to target the area of your swing that you need to work on the most. As you start using your Goff's MVP, you'll notice on the front of the box the word power gauge. What the power gauge does is it customizes your MVP for golfers of all skill levels. You'll notice on the front of the box the white indicator. To adjust the indicator, you'll use the thumb screw on top of the unit. You'll turn it left to progressively move it towards maximum mode. You'll turn it right to progressively move it towards minimal mode. The closer you have it to minimal mode, the earlier you'll be able to release your hands and the easier it is to keep the clip attached to the golf club. The closer to maximum mode that you have it set, the later you will release your hands and the harder it is to keep the clip attached to the golf club. Remember, Goff's MVP was designed to progressively train your hands to release later in the downswing so you can increase your power, your distance, and accuracy in your golf game.
Your golf swing VP has three feedback clips, so you can customize your unit for your golf swing. You need to experiment with these clips so you can progressively challenge yourself to improve your lag and power. The black clip is used to speed up the learning process in the golf swing because it's gonna teach you what the pros can't teach, and that's the feeling of lag in the downswing. The black clip does not pop off the golf club, and it's used in slow motion with slow motion drills only, and it's important to understand that you shouldn't hit golf balls with the black clip because it could damage the product. The white clip is the most sensitive clip and should be used so you can see where the clip's coming off the golf club. Because this clip is so sensitive, it should be used with players with low club head speeds, and it can also be used for low handicappers so they can dial in their timing with a high level of perfection. When you're ready to hit golf balls, you want to use the red clip. The red clip is not quite as sensitive as the white clip, but it will give you ample feedback when you're hitting golf shots in full speed. To help you figure out where to set the tension on your power gauge, we're going to start with the white clip on the club, and then we're going to do a drill called the hip-to-hip -hip drill, which is a great drill. It's going to show you where you're releasing, whether or not you're releasing early at the bottom of your swing or if you are maintaining your power. So what Tim's going to do is start with this on the minimum pressure. He's going to start swinging back and forth, just hip-high to hip-high. See how the clip stays on? That's not enough tension, so he's going to increase the tension just a little bit. Try it again. Clip is still staying on. So he's going to turn the knob, increase the tension a little bit more, and it popped off. So this would be Tim's starting point right here. The MVP is designed to create power by training a late release in the downswing. One of the common tendencies of power leaks is to cast the hands from the top of the swing. When we do that, we expend our club head speed early in the downswing. The MVP helps you train this. We're gonna use the white clip first because it's the easiest to pop off the club. We're gonna bring it to the top of the swing, set our angle, hear it lock in, and slowly turn our body down to bring the hands down into the position which emulates the ideal impact position. Then I wanna swing down with a full swing. The clip didn't pop off. So I'm doing it right and training a late release. Starting your downswing with your upper body can rob you of a lot of power. It feels powerful, but it's actually very deceptive. In the long run, what ends up happening is you end up using your smaller muscles to try to apply power to your golf shots instead of your large muscles. So to help you overcome that over-the-top error, this is a great drill where you can check out and see if you're on plane and then work with the MVP to establish that consistent down plane move. I'm going to have Tim go up to the top of the swing here. What he's going to do is he's going to pump down and try to get this shaft in line with the shaft on the ground. Watch what happens if Tim goes to the top and drops it underneath that shaft. See how the clip pops off? We're going to do that again and show you what happens when he comes over the top of that shaft. Okay, so go ahead and come over the top and the clip will pop off. But when he comes right down on plane, it stays on. So all you need to do at home is get yourself a, a broken golf shaft or some sort of a stick that, that's easy to stick into the ground. You're going to line it up right on top of your club at a dress on the same angle, and then just slide it back a few feet and stick it into the ground. Great drill for training your golf swing to come right down plane. Even very skilled golfers instinctively release the club too early. The MVP will help you create consistent timing and release swing after swing. One of the drills that we're going to use for this is the right hand drill. Basically what we want to do is just go ahead and place your right hand only on this club. So as you swing to the top of the golf swing, you'll notice the two power angles here. That one being the elbow at 90 degrees and two that of being the wrist at 90 degrees. From here, just go ahead and swing down, bring the elbow into your side and notice as I do that, my wrist has maintained that lag, that power. Notice how my body is starting to move and it is starting to turn and release through the shot. If I stop my body, you'll see that the clip will detach from the club at that point because of the early release. So go ahead, again, take it up to the top, create the power angles, 
Bring the elbow in, allow your body to move this way, and you can then swing through to a nice powerful finish, noticing the clip has remained on the club. There are many beneficial ways to get the most out of your MVP training experience. Practice swings. Just spend about five minutes a day. You can do this indoors or while traveling with Goff's MVP Training Club. You can also take the MVP to the driving range and even play a complete practice round on the course. If you have questions about Goff's MVP, please visit goffsmvp.com for more tips and helpful information or email us at info at goffsmvp.com.